What is up you guys, it is your boy Pretty Boy Floyd here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about textured skin, how to get rid of it, how to get rid of those small tiny bumps on your skin. I get a lot on my cheeks because I shave and it's mainly due to like razor irritation. Sometimes like I'll get like little bumps in my nose, um, it kind of looks like a strawberry and I don't really like that. So um, I'm here to give you guys some tips on how to get rid of that. People who have like oily skin, they typically have this problem of their nose being really shiny and then on top of it being really shiny, it can have some texture to it. So one of the things I like to do is I like to use a blackhead remover. You can get the one by uh, Bri Brior, uh, the Brior um, pore strips, or you can get this one that I got. Um, or you can get this one that I got right here, it's called So Fresh So Clean. I got this at Walmart and I got it because like the Bri the, uh, the Brior strips were like 7 or $8 and this one was like 3 so I was like, okay, I'm gonna you know, save me some money. I'm gonna get this. So I got this instead and it works just as good. I got the bumps off my nose. Um, it doesn't look like a strawberry anymore. It looks smooth now. Oh shit, my chair's broke. Ugh. Ugh. Look at this shit. Look at what your boy's sitting on right now. I broke this chair. Sorry, mom. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do some DIY shit to it later maybe. So same video, just a different day. It probably looks a little bit different, so I'm sorry about that. I just really wanted to finish up this video. Um, we are on the topic of textured skin. So after using a pore strip, what I actually do, um, while the pore strip is on my nose, I use the Aztec Healing Clay Mask, and I'll mix the Aztec Healing Clay Mask with apple cider vinegar, and I'll put that on my face for about 10 or 15 minutes, or until it's completely dry, until like I can feel my face like yeah. pulsating a little bit <laughs> I know it sounds weird it sounds damaging but this mask works yeah. really good after I leave that on my skin for about 15 to 20 minutes I make sure that's like really dry I don't I don't yeah. know if that's like bad for me to do but I just really like that like I don't know it yeah. just feels like it's just pull, like pulling everything out of my skin and out of like my pores and stuff Okay, so what I usually do with the clay mask and with the pore strip is that I will take off the pore strip at first and then in the shower, like I do everything in the shower, like I mentioned in every fucking video, but I will wash off the clay mask in the shower. Like I won't wash it over the sink because it makes such a mess. So yeah, that's a tip. Wash it off in the shower and like do your whole like shower routine or whatever. I typically like to do this in the morning before I even like go out and like do my thing. So yeah, um, I'll hop in a shower and I'll like wash it off. With the pore strip, I don't really like to wash, you know, that in a shower because I don't know why, but I like to feel the pain of the pore strip like ripping <laughs> the, the fucking gunk out of my nose and stuff like that just because I'm just like, I don't know. I, I just hate that that shit is like on my nose. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Definitely give that a try. Uh, use that probably about once a week. Another thing that I mentioned was me shaving and how that sort of like produces some razor bumps and whatnot. If I use a multi blade razor, um, I'm yeah. gonna develop some razor bumps. So I switched to a one blade razor and that really helps. You can get the one yeah. blade razor at Walmart. Um, they sell them for about $20. They don't cause any razor bumps to appear. Yeah. So another thing that I switched up was my cleanser. Whenever I use Cetaphil, I start to develop pimples. Like, yeah. just like they'll come out of nowhere or whatever. Like, I'll be good. And then it's like, once I switch to Cetaphil, yeah the pimples just come back. Once I switched to using this Dr. Bronner's tea tree oil, I barely yeah. see any pimples anymore. Cetaphil, it was like once a week, some shit would just pop up on my head. Um, with the Dr. Bronner's yeah. tea tree oil, I would say none, like none at all. Like I don't have any breakouts. So yeah, switching over to that really helps. And with the tea tree oil, with the shaving and the razor irritation, that really helps yeah. too. Um, tea tree oil is a natural antiseptic, so that helps with um, the bacteria on your face and stuff. Another thing, I know that most of you guys, I know mostly guys watch my videos and whatnot, but yeah, I do get into makeup and stuff like that. Like, you don't have to wear makeup to apply this. Just using a, a pore minimizing primer. Just using a primer that's gonna minimize the pores on your face, that's gonna yeah. mattify it if you do have oily skin, because if you have oily skin and textured skin, 
like it's just gonna look worse. So um, using a where is shit at? Right here, the baby, the baby skin Maybelline primer. So yeah, this is the Maybelline baby skin primer. You can find it at Walmart or Target for about six dollars. If you wear makeup and stuff like that, and you have textured skin, this really helps smooth it out and just makes your skin look smooth. That's it for this video, you guys. Hope you liked this video. Um, oh yeah, I got a new chair. <laughs> I got this from a thrift store for about fifteen dollars. So uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I noticed that I told you guys that I broke my chair and shit like that. I'm, I'm definitely going to do something with that chair. That's definitely going to be like a future DIY video or something like that. I might make it like a vanity chair and like put like fur on it. I don't know. Yeah.